archival preservation is the process of protecting records which are damaged more than 30 years old and uh, which needs immediate rehabilitation and repair. The materials that need to, to be preserved are records which have been damaged by time, by acid and or other acidic materials, by biological agents, and by human intervention. Conservation is the process of treating damaged records. At the National Archives of the Philippines, the archiving of documents started during the Spanish period. When the Spaniards arrived here in the Philippines, they began collecting the records. And that's the start of the archiving of documents. But it, it was not really formal. The formal archiving of documents began in 1889. The Antonio Vivencio del Rosario UST Heritage Library was inaugurated in January 28, 2006. Uh, it was supported by a grant from the family of the late Ambassador Ramon del Rosario Sr. It was named after their grandfather Antonio Vivencio del Rosario, who was an outstanding Tomasian and a former Secretary General of the University. So, and, uh, well, heritage because we preserve here our collections from the past years, from the beginning of the existence of our university. So our library has a big collection of books from the foundation up to this moment. The oldest book that we have in the University of Santo Tomas is, the title of the book is La Guerra Judaica, printed in 1492, and the author is Flavius Josephus. There are four processes of preservation that we do. One is examination of the records, then conservation of the records, maintenance of the records, and then the storage of the records. What we're doing in the Heritage Library, we do the preventive and interventive conservation. For the preventive conservation, we do environmental monitoring of the books. In our stack room, we do also proper cleaning of the books. And then for the interventive conservation, we do restoration, book binding, and book repair. Lumina Pandit is a Latin phrase which means spreading the light. Well, just to give you the brief background of what Lumina Pandit is about, um, the Proud to be Thomasians at 400 was the expressions of our Thomasian community years before our quadricentennial celebration for the foundation of UST. So our prefect, Father Angel Aparicio O.P., said that it is the library's responsibility to enlighten the Thomasian community about the main contribution of UST for the past 400 years. We thought of having an exhibit of rare collections of heritage materials as well as the archival materials to um, narrate the history of the Philippines at the same time to narrate the development of UST and its contribution to the nation. Lumina Pandit 2 came after the Lumina Pandit 1. It is during the last day of the exhibit when a banker and entrepreneur, Mr. Gusto A. Ortiz of Union Bank of the Philippines, came to see the exhibit and the catalog that inspired him to make an endowment to the university to embark on conservation, uh, preservation, digitization, and publication of catalogs of the university library and the university archives. For our library digitization project, our aims is to increase the access of these historical materials and at the same time we want to preserve the copies by reducing the minimum handling. So basically, we want to preserve at the same time we want to share our collections to a wider community. That's why we have created our own digital library website in which our historical collections, the archival collections can be accessed by anybody anytime, anywhere, through the use of our website. Preservation is important because records are sources of, they are reference materials and they have historical value. This is very important to the uh, institution to preserve 
their collection for the future generation. What is most important, we keep in the Heritage Library, which is, I would say, the memory of the Filipino people, no? because the education of the, of the leaders of the Philippines somehow was in the University of Santo Tomas, and this is where somehow they cultivated their minds and they expanded their knowledge and all those things.